Mark, a full week's training, how's it gone? Um, I think, like I always say, the, the proof will be tomorrow at three o'clock when, when the whistle goes. Uh, we um, maybe question the players' desire a little bit, first time this season, after Saturday. I think the opposition ran harder than us and, and fought harder than us and, and that's the one thing the opposition can't stop you doing is running and competing. And if you don't do those two things in abundance, it's impossible to win a game of football. So that's the one thing we've had to sort out this week and make sure we get a team that is prepared to, to run and compete. And is that a little bit back to basics, if you will? It, yeah, of course. The basics are key to and are fundament, fundamental to any performance. If you, um, if you don't win your indivi in individual battles or if you don't run, Harder than the opposition, longer, faster. Um, if you don't fight for every scrap or every second ball, don't matter whether you play long ball or short ball or whatever you want to call it, you can't win a game of football. And we didn't do that last week. Is that a good sign that you haven't had to do that before this season until you've got into March? Or is that just a disappointment that you have to do it at all ever? Of course, but I think sometimes complacency can, can creep in and... Uh, and sometimes we think we've just got to turn up and uh, to, to to win a game. But against Lincoln, if you don't fight and scrap, you you're not getting anything. Even though we could have easily got something out of the game. Um, but the players have been left in no uncertain terms, not in a bad way, but in a very constructive way that we have to compete and and run. And if we don't do that, we can't win. And how much does that make you think about selection options as well? Always thinking about selection options, you know and. And um, everybody's had a chance in the squad, and uh, everybody's had a run of games. Um, but it's now trying to pick a team that can start putting some points on the board to make sure we we finish in the top seven. How much is it more complicated or more complex than just not scoring enough goals at the moment? Well, that's right, isn't it? It's if you don't score and you can see, then it's a recipe for disaster. So something we've got to put right and um, I'm, I'm sure the boys are, are ready for tomorrow and we'll put on a, a really aggressive performance. Because Morecambe in a position with everything to play for? Of course, they've, they have um, they did miraculously well to, to stay up on the last day of the season last year, getting a point at Coventry and they're well above the drop zone again so um, they'll be pleased with their, where they are um, and they've got some threats. But it's about what we do. We've got to go and play. We've got to go and be aggressive and play well. I know it's part of being a professional, but how much of getting a result there is not about the journey beating you before you even step onto the field? No, we can't use. We're not lucky. We don't want it. Don't want any excuses. It's a long way. So what? Morecambe had a long journey. Came here and beat us earlier in the season. So there's no excuses tomorrow. It's um, roll your sleeves up. Um, get your head down and gone before. And although the first team might not have been scoring enough goals of, of late, the reserves certainly have been. So how much does that just sort of mean that there is competition for places? Well, they didn't on Tuesday. They only scored two uh, and got beat by a young South End team. So there's always competition for places and players are always playing themselves out or in of a team. You know, it's, it's very rarely a manager that leaves a player out of a team. It's, it's the player himself by his performances or, or lack of them. Liam Shepherd, you were hoping would be available for Lincoln. I think he failed a, a fitness test in the end. Um, How is he this week? He's all right. He's trained, he's trained uh, the last couple of days, training today, and, uh, and we'll see how he is. Bear in mind we have another game on Tuesday as well.